Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you so much, as always, for joining us. And uh, I'm here with my dear brother, Sam Shamon, to announce to you the release of brand new video series. It's going to be part of uh, a series that we titled Let Us Reason. And this particular uh, video series that you will be uh, watching in the next few weeks from now uh, called Tawheed Dilemma. And Sam, yeah. uh, tell mm -hmm. our viewers more about the reason why we chose this particular yes. uh, dilemma to discuss. Because Muslims like to boast that Islam teaches the purest monotheism out there. <clears throat> Perhaps the only other religion that's close to Islam in its expression of monotheism would be Judaism. But even with that said, they boast that Islam presents Allah as an absolutely singular being who's also a singular consciousness. In other words, what we'd call Unitarianism, right? Because we're also monotheists. We believe there's one God, but this one God eternally exists as three persons, so we're Trinitarian. Here we're, we're showing in our series, nothing could be farther from the truth. If you just let the Quran speak and not impose later Islamic theology upon the text of the Quran, the Quran <clears throat> is far from being a book that proclaims the absolute essential unity of Allah because in the Quran you will find not only is Allah portrayed as divine, so is the spirit of Allah, so is Jesus, so is mother, so is Muhammad. And that's what we're unpacking in this series. So I'm excited, not just for Christians, because Christians are going to be shocked and blessed to see all this evidence refuting the Muslim assertion that Islam teaches Tawheed, particularly the Quran, but even Muslims will be in for a surprise and shock when they're confronted with the facts of their own scripture that refutes the idea that Islam teaches the purest form of monotheism. Amen. And let me give you just a taste of what Sam is talking about. From the Quran alone, we showed that Allah is not one in essence and one in person. We showed that the Holy Spirit in the Quran is another deity. We showed that Jesus and Mary are elevated above all creatures. And we showed that Jesus is equal to Allah. And we most importantly also closed that particular series by showing that the title Messiah in the Quran as applied to Jesus alone is devastating right. in terms of refuting every single argument our Muslim friends would like to raise concerning the fact that Jesus is not divine when in fact the Quran and full, uh, I mean, wholeheartedly and fully right. acknowledges that deity. Yep. Well, brother, thank you so much thank as always, and it's good to partner with you. Amen. Praise and Jesus Christ. Thank you Christ to all. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also, hit the bell so that you don't miss future videos. And please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Sira International. And together, we can introduce Muslims to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you.